Hello everybody, I will review my top 5 video games in 2020 that I like. <laughs> Let's get started. Number 5, Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go, I've been playing it since, oh, since like 2 years already. During this time, it's been pretty fun, but since I live in the ranch, it's kind of different, you know, you know? I've been doing a lot of stuff like boring research breakthroughs for corny Pokemon. I've been getting Mewtwo's, I've been catching Arcanines, you know? I've been catching a lot of good Pokemon, actually, too. Even if I'm going to the store wearing a mask, staying safe, still catching good Pokemon. You know, you know. Hmm, a few... Because, yeah, there's the, the increased spots I've shown up more often, so that's how I've been getting all my Pokemon. <laughs> but yeah, for now, some going pretty dope. Oh yeah, didn't mention that I, I'm also nearly half the way to my Pokemon storage, too. Along with the new region of Pokemon that came out, I just wanted to... I don't know. I transferred a few Pokemon that I didn't use. That's for, that's for fact. Um... Not all, not all research breakthroughs are bad. I got some pretty cool shiny Pokemon, legendaries, mythicals, you know, you know me. Um, I, I got from during COVID, I got the three limit for battling Giovanni. I already have the three shadow me too. Three. It was very bad. Poorly done. Poorly done. And they should have updated the game. By the way, does this feel like a podcast to you? Because this feels like a podcast to me. Um, well, yeah, this is for Pokemon Go for number five. Let's start with the next one, next video game. Number four, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I actually, I had this game since last year's Christmas. Um, it was pretty fun. I like playing it during cr the the crisis and staying at home stuff. I got to play with my brother since he's the one that mostly plays with me the most. Um, online play with friends is not a scratch. It was pretty easy and fun. Um, overall, there's tracks and the same stuff. You know, such such multiple stuff to do in there. Other than getting cursed by Thwomp and you know. Getting like first place is actually pretty cool. I like, when, I like the design of the game; it's pretty dope. Mm, overall, I, I I'm giving like other than Pokemon Go, I give it like an eight out of ten for this year during the pandemic, and for this for the Mario Kart, I'm gonna give it an eight. It was, it's really fun and addicting once you play with other people, because once you play by yourself, it's just gets very lonely. <laughs> and other than that, yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, what did I forget to mention? Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Ready to start for game number three. Number three, Splatoon 2. Nintendo. During this, during during Splatoon, during this stuff, I've been doing a lot of ranked battles since I actually started getting into it during this time because I thought like, I was already kind of bored of the turf wars. So what I did, I was doing the ranked battles, and you know, I discovered a favorite ranked ones: Rainmaker and Tower Control. I kind of recommend Tower Control more because it's more simpler, you know, you know, you know. And um. I also got Amiibos during this year's Christmas, so that was even better, so I got to do more stuff, too. Um, I, I unlocked a League Battle. There's a Splatfest coming next month, and I chose a Superstar, by the way. Superstar! Um, level 43 since last year. Level 1 since October, November, till, what, December, level 43? Yeah. Overall, yeah, I, I'm gonna, for... Playing this, I'd probably give it a seven since I mean I already completed our. Well, actually, yeah, I completed everything. I also got Arctic Expansion during this time. It was pretty fun, actually. It was good. It was really hard. I got the toothpick at least, but it was fun. I recommend it definitely. I mean, unless you need to turn the switch online, because that's mainly what you need for this game. Very much. All right, what game do we need? Number two. Number two. Namco Museum. 2017. Bandai Namco. Okay, so. I love old school games, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I got Pac-Man arcade stuff. There's also a bunch of games here, such as Pac-Man, Galaga, Dig Dug, very fun, Terra Draga, never played it, and probably never will, Sky Kid, played with my brother, love it very much, Rolling Thunder, played it once, did not like it, very boring, very. Galaga 88, it was fun, but not the same as the original Galaga. Splatterhouse, I loved it, reminds me of Friday the 13th. What else other games? Oh yeah. Jason Voorhees, yeah. Tank Force. Also, it's not, it's not Tank, Jason Voorhees. Right? Tank Force is very fun. Rolling Thunder, I will never play, too, because it just looks corny myself. Pac-Man vs. Definitely would recommend that one. It's very fun. And by the way, um, there's a, there's at least a total of 12 games, I think, yeah, alongside with Namco, Muse with Namco Museum's Pac-Man Championships Edition. Um, there's multiplayer in each game. But the, I, I didn't get it once I got it, because I got it the day after Christmas, by the way. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, if you're... Retro or stuff, aesthetic, do know, do know. I, mean, I kind of actually really recommend this game because it's really dope. <laughs> I don't know, it's very fun. There's also challenge modes, which also gives you high ranks so you can go against other pe people around the world. 
Mm, I got it for a good 30 bucks. It was a good time killer to play, actually. I'm gonna try to make this my best for the game. And the game that gave me the most hype was Splatterhouse. Splatterhouse is the most game that I really wanted to play since I found Namco Museum. My little brother was terrified by it. Um, I was not. I thought it was creepy, but it was pretty fun. Okay, back again, like I said, this character reminded me of Jason, but this dude's real name was called, what, Rick Taylor? Yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely suck at this game, though, but, uh, hmm. Level 2, I made it pass through, I think. I'm still gonna go for it, because I still have other games to try out on this one. But yeah, if you want Namco Museum to have 12 at least plus games, I'd recommend it. And now for the final game. Smash Bros. Ult I definitely would recommend this game. It's fighting game, like... Man, both played game on the Switch the whole time, recently. This, and I've been playing as a total of five fighters along this whole time since I've been playing it. Main as Pac-Man, Pokemon Trainer, Hinkling, and Jellypuff, Me Brawler as well. Um, it goes along with a total of 80-something fighters right now. And nothing. Um, so far for me, I have I've had pretty high hopes for this game because I there's a bunch of trap maps and stages and everything, a bunch of good fighters to play along the way. Um, what all the updates are pretty cool too. All the DLC packs are pretty cool too, along with the the fighters too. Also, my little brother means of good fighters as well. There. Well, it's still basically me and him that play the most of it during that time. Um, online play sucks. Number one. Mmm, so far, yeah, I'm giving this game a 10 out of 10. Complete success. Um, oh, have you guys ever heard that new, the new tournament that's coming on January? Definitely would try that one out, that's for sure, because I would really, really play it. Um, alongside with that, uh, there's a lot of your favorite video game characters that show up in this franchise, such as Pokemon, what else, uh, Mega Man, you name it. Uh, Pac-Man, Mario Brothers, you name it, you name it, very big much. So far, when it comes to DLCs, not that many fighters disappointed me. Steve gave me... I don't, I don't like Minecraft. I used to like it, but Steve gave me pretty... It was pretty interesting. Sephiroth at the Game Awards. Did not hype... Did, I did not, I was surprised by it. I wasn't hyped, though. Terry, I actually liked him. Remind me of Street Fighter. No fighters disappointed me. No, except the one and only Byleth. That one gave me the most disappointment. Very big disappointment. In conclusion, for next year, I will be playing the same games constantly yeah and um that's it guys thanks for watching happy new year